One big question, does your golf swing lack mobility? Do you feel tight? Do you fatigue on the golf course? Are you in pain? Does it take four or five holes to warm up? Are you speaking about me? Yes, I'm yes, looking at you. It does. <laughs> well, today we're going to share with you five must-do exercises that's going to help you achieve a more effortless golf swing. Let's get started. So everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome. We're here at Vorto Fitness and we're excited about this one because we know that if you want to play better golf, you need to move better. And myself and Pierce over the last few years have changed our training to help our golf and we know the exercises that we're going to cover today are really going to make a big difference to your golf swing. Now, one of the main reasons we're doing this is because golfers come to us for lessons and we get them on the lesson team, we ask them to do certain things and we say, okay Steve, yeah, just get this little bit of turn in the backswing and they can't do it. So some of these exercises is a great example of what we're doing that we're so passionate about that we know can help you. And this is off the back of releasing our brand new plan, Full Body Freedom, that really is a great way to get you moving better. Stability, rotation, balance, everything you need as well. And we're gonna share our five favorite exercises from this plan that can help you as well. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just start getting into these, Andy. But I think one question I think you need to ask yourself, have you ever tried to change your golf swing and you know how to do it, but you just can't do it? It could be down to the physical mobility issues that you have in your body and a lot of this you're going to see there's going to be a lot of turning there's going to be a bit of stretching going on there and it just makes sense it's going to make you better at golf and i have warmed up already it's really important that you warm <laughs> up as well so i've done a bit of warm up already so the first exercise i'm going to get on all fours okay first one is all i'm going to do from here is rotate to the top real big open in the chest that's his backswing if you think about that he's having he's creating a turn in his backswing extending his arms and then thread it through that's pretty good, isn't it? That's going into his through swing now, so you can see a massive stretch here, a lot of stability in the lower body, but you can see his arms are coming out away from his body as well. All very good for creating a good stretch in his hips, his torso, and his arms. And I couldn't do this before. This is something that I've really improved over the last couple yeah. of years. This hooking it around my thigh here is, and this is tight, this is a stretch, but it feels if, great. If you've never done yoga before, you're not gonna do this straight away. But you can get to it, like Andy says, with time. And look, for me, the biggest catalyst for me, is you're gonna obviously do it on the other side now. The biggest catalyst for me, there were two things really. Number one was seeing my students who are older than me really struggling with moves in their goal swing. But also, secondly, injury. You probably know a lot now that I get injured a lot. I do stupid things. So for me, this kind of training has helped me a lot. And if I can't move properly, my golf swing really is uh, um, not the best. And he's knocking on a bit now as well, but he's not getting any, uh, any younger. Right, getting the next younger. exercise, okay, we sort of go into this sort of split stance. From here now, we just sort of stretch out from this hip, get the arms nice and high. Something popped then, what was that? Was that, that was just Yeah, it was just a bit of, uh, I don't know what it was in there anyway. <laughs> and then from here, I'm just gonna rotate. So hand down, rotate, turn into that right side. Again, he's got a great backswing move going on here, a lot of torso stretching here, stability in this right leg stretching out the front of that left leg, the hip flexor. And if we think about it, golf swing, of course it's about movement, but you also need to be able to stabilize and stop parts of your body quickly in order to create speed and power. Okay, next one. I'm gonna get onto the back here now. Again, you'll see how much this is, a lot of this is about rotation because most of the people that we coach struggle with uh, rotation when it comes to turning. So on the back, we're gonna get the knee over, arm over here, and we're gonna even look to the right here. Beautiful. Again, creating a massive stretch there. Again, thinking about this and how this could look into a golf swing. Look, we talk about it a lot now, and you see a lot of the live lessons we do. There are a lot of golfers who do not rotate the pelvis that well. They get a lot of this swaying action. If you're swaying, you are done. There's very few golfers. Sergio Garcia is about as the only one out there who can put a sway in there and still hit good golf shots. But as soon as you start swaying as an amateur, you are done. Notice as well, I'll actually be quiet just a little bit. You'll hear his breathing. Breathing's a massive part of yoga. Do it again, Andy, breathe for me. There you go. <laughs> but if you don't, the last thing you wanna be doing is stretching, going, all sorts of noises will start coming out of you. All right, so three down, fourth exercise coming up. So look, already you're seeing how much more mobility you could get as a result of doing this exercise. If this is useful to you, hit that like, let us know. So from here now, Tell us what you're doing, stretch Andy. up. So cross legs, stretch up, nice and high. <sighs> Have a bit of a rotation here again, breathe. You can see again, I'm really creating this upper body rotation to be able to separate the two here, it's so yeah. key. And then from here, all I'm gonna do is sort of move forward now and if I can get my arms onto the ground, this yeah. isn't easy by the way, I couldn't get my arms onto the ground no, no. at some point, but the outside of my right hip now, which is really tight, I can really feel the stretch here, but. 
<laughs> no, the good thing is, uh, as, as much as we are improving with this, Lisbeth kind of makes us look, um, mm. yeah. And this is just, Amateurs. you know, having a plan like this is just so important. I really wish I'd have done this years ago. I've only been doing it the last three years. I wish I'd have done it years ago because yep. I think if I have a little bit of a break now from golf and don't play for a couple of weeks and but continue to do this type of stretching, I get back to my game really, really fast, which is great. And, and you know what? Without getting too deep into this, this is kind of a lifestyle choice as well. What do you want to be like? Ask yourself the question. I'm asking you a lot of questions today. What do you want to be like when you're 60 years of age? Do you want to be finding it hard to get out of the car or do you want to be able to move freely and not have pain when you play golf? You want to be like Pierce and be, you know, be mobile at 60. Right, okay, last one this is. This is a, a, a bit of a, a finisher. We're just using gravity here. So we're just going to get the, the feet together in this sort of diamond shape. You're going to lie flat on your back. And all you're going to really do here is just let gravity do the work and get these knees to sort of, don't step on it, Pierce. By gravity, he means my left foot. <laughs> and this, this actually looks really easy, but this is so tight on the inner thighs and the hips. And you lie here. I generally lie here for two or three minutes and just um, <laughs> have, a, have a little sleep. He has to text someone then to come and... Uh, it's very hard to get out of this stretch. <laughs> get him out of it. <laughs> but this is a great one for the hips. Again, always good one to finish on. And if I'm just finishing the session off, lying here and just relaxing, um, it, it feels quite strange, but... It's definitely a good one for the hips. And look, I think the key with this as well, look, don't forget, we are not fitness experts. We're very interested in it, but these are some of the things that we're doing that are just helping us. So it's just really worth you looking at this full body freedom workout. Check it out in the description because it can, it can change your life. It's changed his life. It's changing my life. It could change your life. Okay, guys, so there are five must-do exercises it's going to help you have a more effortless golf swing if you want to continue to take your golf swing to the next level you really should check out this full body freedom app it will definitely make a huge difference yeah absolutely we have a limited time offer as well because we are throwing in simple secrets to lower scores which is going to take your game to the next level click the link down below and we'll see you soon thanks guys